Hey there, welcome or welcome back if you are already subscribed to my channel. Today's video is a Abercrombie spring haul, which I am super excited about. I love shopping at Abercrombie and especially for denim and shorts. They have the curve love lines, which for my body type specifically is so helpful because it eliminates a waist gap. I think Abercrombie's spring clothes and summer clothes specifically are some of my favorites. Their bathing suits are also really great. I won't be sharing any of those in this haul. But if you want to try them out, I highly recommend. And they also just came out this year with Curve Love bathing suit bottoms, which I personally am very excited to try. This is quite a large haul, so we're going to get right into it. I will be sharing the size of every item as I show and discuss them, and everything will be linked in the description box below for you to shop. Also, if you hear construction or saws going off, it is because we have construction going on on the back of the house. So if you hear a weird noise, that's what that is. If you are not already subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys back here. I upload new videos every single week. I do fashion hauls, vlogs, and I'm in the middle of a health and a hormone health journey. So I invite you to join me with that as well. Also, before we go into everything that I got from Abercrombie, I just wanted to put a disclaimer here about shopping and spending a lot of money in general and how it is not necessary to look cute and on trend every season. There are definitely items in here that I'm sure you could find at different shops or also in your own closet already. I also love getting inspiration from new pieces that stores are selling and finding them in my own closet and saving some money. I don't keep every single item that I share in these videos either. So if you are watching these videos and thinking that you need to buy these exact products, you certainly do not. The first item in my haul is this sweat set. I do work from home. I am 100% remote and it is so tempting to be in sweats or athleisure all day every single day so i embraced it and i got this adorable set i love the wide leg pants that they're not joggers so they're not tight in the ankle i think the color is really cute for spring and the top since it is more of a cropped top it's not too too cropped to where you're showing a lot of skin so you stay actually warm but it is just a little bit cropped so it's more of a flattering cut so i feel like you can wear the sweat set together and it still looks flattering i am wearing a size small in both pieces the top and the bottom and they fit perfect i will say they are a tad oversized but not too much to where i would want to size down but now that we are going straight into more of the spring and summer side of outfits i wanted to share the shoes that i have paired with almost every single one of these outfits and these are my birkenstock arizonas i have become a 100 percent birkenstock girl ever since i bought the boston clogs when they went viral two years ago and I am obsessed. I can walk in these all day long and my feet never bother me. They are just amazing, amazing shoes. There's even a pair and I'll show a picture of them that I am wanting this season and I don't think I'm going to get them because I don't need another pair of Birkenstocks, but I think these are so adorable. They just have a single strap on them and the reviews are great. So I don't think anyone has trouble like keeping them on their feet but I think they're just a girlier look to a Birkenstock and they don't make your feet maybe look as clunky as the regular shoes do because sometimes in these Birkenstocks, I feel like they're just quite a statement on my feet but i just wanted to let you know those are the shoes that you'll be seeing i will have them linked as well but i am obsessed with these shoes and i highly recommend them if you are looking for a new summer sandal a basic i think everybody can benefit from having are these abercrombie tank tops i own them in black white and beige i believe that these are one of the most worn items in my closet because i can wear them through every single season and layer with them but also they're just the perfect cut the front hem of the the tank top is a little bit longer than the back hem as well so it just helps lay right on your stomach since they are a cropped top but they're not too cropped either they hit right above the waist of high-waisted jean shorts or jeans the white is not see-through they are a really good thickness and they're just a very 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 comfortable tank top and they're super flattering on as well i do wear an extra small in the tank tops and i think they fit perfect these short sleeves i also love I used to own the extra small and the black and the white because they do sell them in a two pack and now I own the smalls just because I felt like sizing up one.
Again, they are great for layering just like the tank tops are. Next is the relaxed short sleeve top. This is definitely not a baby tee like the ones before it and I got an extra small in this one so it is oversized but I have a thing for stripes this year. I'm obsessed with everything striped specifically the navy and white stripe. I feel like it looks so preppy and Cape Cod-esque. What was that trend? Like the um New England grandma or something like that. I just love the way that this looks. It is a super cute basic t-shirt. I like that it is not very long, but it's not technically cropped. So it's super easy to just tuck into the front of your shorts or your jeans and it looks really cute. <laughs> I will say I did not like the all white short sleeve shirt because the hem or the neckline of it was so much thicker than the rest of the shirt. So it was like a bright white and then kind of a see-through white. I'm really glad I gave this disclaimer about the construction. They were not here for the last two hours while I was getting ready and planning out this video. And now that I'm filming, here they are. I'm so sorry. I'll just linen shorts and linen pants in general. I have purchased linen pants in the past and the one thing that just really grinds my gears, a lot of them do not have any lining through them so you can see straight through the linen pants and I think that is so impractical and it honestly drives me mad. So I finally this year stocked up. I got linen pants and then I also got these linen shorts. The thing I like about them is they look very dressy. I love the pleating on the front of them. I did get my true to size 26 or two in these and I love the length of the inseam. They're not too, too long, but they're not too short. They're the perfect ones. Next are these Sloan short. As you can tell this year, I have really leaned towards non-denim shorts and that's because they're just so much more comfortable and I think they're so cute. These in particular are the perfect shade of pink for the summer. They'll look so much better when I have a little bit more of a tan going on, but I love the color. Again, I love the inseam. I love the tailored look of them. They're not see-through and they're just all around a very, very high quality short. I also got my true to size at 26 in these. So next I did get some new jean shorts and these are some of the most comfortable jean shorts I have ever put on. I tried two different kinds this year. I tried the mom short and these are the dad shorts. Again, I got my true to size 26 or two and I did get these shorts in the curve love, but I love them so much. I got black and I got the light color and what I love about both of these shorts is there's no distressing. The hem is not raw and it's not going to have all the strings hanging off your leg and they're so comfortable so I can move around in them when I walk they don't ride up when I sit down they're not uncomfortable I love the look of them and they are a high waist as you can see which I don't even have anything low rise at all in my closet probably never will again so everything that you see is a high rise next are the linen pants as I mentioned earlier again same size 26 or 2 and these are a regular inseam and I will say they are pretty long. If you are shorter, you may want to get the short inseam, but maybe try both. I personally like having longer inseam and linen pants. Even though they're white and the inseam will get dirty, I will get some nice like wedges or some platform sandals and it kind of raises you up a little bit. But I love the look of long wide leg linen pants. And again, what I'm so happy about with these is that they are lined all the way through. So from the top all the way to the bottom, there is a lining in there. Obviously with white linen pants, even with linings, you don't want to wear like colorful underwear, but you are not able to just see your skin straight through these with the lining, which is so important and again, so hard to find. They are very tailored looking. I don't like the look of pull-on linen pants. They kind of look pajama-y in my opinion, and so I love these because they have belt loops on them, they have button closure in the front, they have pleating, they've got pockets, they are just all around the perfect linen pant. Next is this adorable dress. This is called the Emerson dress and when I saw this print and this dress online, I freaked out. I love wearing dresses. Honestly, I will reach for dresses way more than I will reach for any kind of shorts or pants in the summer. It has pockets, which is incredible. I love how full the skirt is. The bodice is so beautiful. I love the design that they put into the top of it. The model has the sleeves up on her shoulder like I'm wearing it, but I also pulled the sleeves down to be off the shoulder and I kind of think that that's cuter. I feel like you could wear the sleeves either way. 
I did get a size extra small in this dress and I was shocked that it was a little bit on the larger side because I am usually a small. So I will say I do think it runs a little big, which is good depending on how much you got. I will say though, this print, as much as I loved it online, when I got it in the mail, I am returning the dress and I'm going to get it instead. They have a stripe version. I told you I'm obsessed with stripes this year. I think it would look really cute in the solid color or the stripes, but this particular one, if you love it, I love it too, but for me, on my body, I felt like a pioneer woman, if that makes sense. I just feel like I'm homesteading Oklahoma or something. I don't really know. I'm not as crazy about it on my body in person as I was when I saw it online. So for that reason, I will be exchanging it for a different color, but I think it is an adorable dress. This would be great if you are a wedding guest. This is the midi version or the long version, but they do have it in a mini version, which would be very cute, just a little bit less fabric. So if you are more petite, the mini one will probably look a little bit better as well. Okay, now on to everyone's favorite kind of dress, the traveler dress. A lot of people call these exercise dresses, depending on what brand you're shopping for. These are the dresses that have the built-in romper, like shorts on the inside with a pocket in them. They're great. Most definitely my most worn item in my closet every single summer because they're so breathable. They feel so good on. They're easy. It's just one whole outfit. The only thing that's hard is going to the bathroom with these because you have to completely take it off. This one I love because there's a zip back and it just looks a little bit nicer. It's not your typical tank top. It does have the shorts in it. I did get a size extra small in this as well and it fits great. I did get the tall version. So they have extra small talls and I love that about Abercrombie because if you're like me and you have a little bit of a longer torso, then the midsection can sometimes be a little bit too tight. So the tall really helps give some extra length and not look like it's as short of a dress. Even the tank top or spaghetti strap version of this dress, I have in two different colors, black and pink, and I love them. I wear them all the time. Just a very lightweight, breathable fabric, super easy and super comfortable to wear in the summer. And that wraps up today's Abercrombie Spring Haul. I really hope that you enjoyed. This was a huge haul, but I am so excited about some of the things that they are coming out with this season. I hope that this gave you inspiration for the upcoming season. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you do not need to go out and buy these exact products. It is super easy to get creative in your own closet with what you already have and come up with outfits that are inspired from new trends. I'm seeing a lot of the stripes this season and I already have a lot of stripes in my closet and I am very excited about the stripe detail. I think it is so cute and classic so if you have any striped clothes in your closet definitely bring them out this spring and summer again everything will be linked in the description box below if you have not yet subscribed please click that subscribe button i truly appreciate every single one of you who have returned to my videos week after week let me know in the comments if you want to see different shopping hauls or other videos and i will be happy to accommodate and i will see you next week Thank you.